In the collect from today's Ember Mass, Mass for Ember Friday, we pray, stir up thy might, we beseech thee, O Lord, and come, that they who trust in thy loving kindness may be the more speedily freed from all adversity, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So, we ask God in today's Holy Mass that he might excite, we say, excita quesmus domina, that he might excite in us his power so that we might have trust in him and know his deliverance. We stand on the brink of Christmas and we are in the presence of the Blessed Mother, like St. Elizabeth. And the child in Elizabeth's womb was stirred up, was excited. He leapt, he leapt for joy in his mother's womb because of the presence of the Savior. And everything changed for Elizabeth and for St. John because the Blessed Mother brought our Lord and Savior to them. And Elizabeth acknowledged the great benefit that she had received, saying to her, to her cousin, who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And so it should be our great joy to know that our devotion to the Blessed Mother, that our perseverance in our Advent discipline will pay off, not only because we will come to the moment of Christmas, but because we will become more grateful for the mystery of Christmas that is always with us. We pray that, like St. John, we might become stirred up over the grace of God that we have been given and find greater motivation to persevere, greater motivation to be, to be generous, to be more generous, to forget ourselves and to put ourselves in God's presence because he is always with us. And the generosity that God gives us through his grace can be very great. It can help us to carry any cross, to persevere under any difficulty and to be faithful no matter um, what challenges we experience in our vocation. Because the last words basically of the angel to the Blessed Mother before she brought our Lord to St. Elizabeth was all things are possible with God. When the angel talk, talked to the Blessed Mother about the conception of St. John in the womb of St. Elizabeth, uh, he told her all things are possible with God. And so that's the context in which our Blessed Mother brings grace to St. John and St. Elizabeth. So we know that all things are possible with God. We just need to um, act as though we know it by allowing God to stir up his grace in us and to um, move us to be more generous in carrying our crosses and persevering in our vocations. Oh, 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 oh,